uh, thing that has surprised us during the pilot process of certification was that the administration is not prepared to take on uh, the tasks we expect from them. Uh, so we organized a series of workshops in the area of communication, working with families, customer treatment, public consultation, etc. Uh, this is now a regular feature of uh, our offer to local governments. We offer them workshops uh, online and uh, uh, offline uh, from these uh, areas. Uh, in the certification process, we highlighted six important areas of family policy implementation uh, in municipalities. Uh, these are uh, legal and institutional aspects. Uh, for example, does uh, the local government have a unit responsible for family policy? Uh, second uh, is communication and cooperation with families. Uh, does the public consultation mechanism work? Uh, are families effectively informed? Uh, do they have impact on the decisions made? Uh, third is uh, social infrastructure. Uh, press schools, playgrounds, availability of public places for families with uh, children, uh, etc. Uh, fourth is uh, avail availability of child care solutions for children up to three years old, uh, child care vouchers uh, or nurseries, uh, etc. Uh, housing needs, it's uh, our fifth uh, area. Uh, uh, creation of sol solutions for specific target groups, uh, for example, families with uh, many children. And uh, the last one is uh, security, uh, social assistance, uh, everyday issues, but also solutions for times of crisis. Uh, considering the discussed areas that we evaluate during the certification process, we can conclude that family-friendly local uh, governments are characterized by representativeness, cooperation, communication, transparency, creativity, universality, and security. We look for such local governments in our certification process, and we help them to be uh, like that. Uh, so, uh, this is uh, the beginning of uh, our family-friendly local uh, government certification program. Uh, as I said, we now have eight cities uh, with whom the certification process is advanced and another uh, few with whom we are just beginning to work. Uh, but uh, right now uh, we have an extraordinary situation in Poland uh, because uh, the war uh, in Ukraine has had a significant impact on us and all the local government's activities also. We have uh, over 2 million refugees in Poland, uh, whom we have welcomed in our homes and schools. Uh, this uh, had a great influence on our plans uh, and activities. Uh, therefore, uh, Taking advantage of this meeting, I would like to say that both local governments and our association are open to any cooperation in this area uh, with all those uh, who would like to join uh, us in helping the Ukrainians. Uh, these uh, are people who are deprived of uh, their homes. Uh, often uh, they lost their loved ones. Uh, we organize places for them to live temporarily also outside our country. Uh, we have uh, examples uh, of local governments cooperating with uh, ours uh, in this area. Uh, if uh, there are any questions, possibilities, uh, please just uh, contact us. Uh, thank you very much for your attention and uh, best greetings for all of you from Poland. Bye-bye.